Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Natty State Six Pack, a Super Bowl Sunday edition of the Natty State Six Pack that'll come to your feeds pretty early Monday mornings. Curtis Wilkerson and Andrew Ellis here with you from uh, the studios in downtown Fayetteville where the Super Bowl just wrapped up. We just watched it, and we have a lot uh, to talk about. That was kind of a wild game uh, as far as Super Bowls are concerned. What do you think, Andrew? I didn't have I didn't have high expectations coming into this one. I got to be honest with you. I didn't really care. I wasn't intrigued by this game, but dang man, overtime uh went the full distance there in overtime and you had a had a walk-off winner. It's not bad. Yes, yeah, similar to the Arkansas Georgia game we were forced to watch on Saturday, which hey, yeah, the very Hogs, similar the Hogs to that. Won. Great. <laughs> there were no stakes in that game. You know, it just felt like this mm-hmm. Super Bowl at least for me personally, which is the lens I view everything through because that's all I can do, but also because I'm a selfish human being. <laughs> you know, I have some Chiefs fans in my life, so it's like, mm-hmm. hey, if they want a Super Bowl, I'd be like, all right, cool. You know, maybe Cinematex. Great. Congrats, buddy. Number three, yeah, it's great, buddy. Uh, if they had lost, I certainly wasn't going to feel bad for them. Wasn't going to lose any sleep over it. 49ers, like Kyle Shanahan, like making fun of Brock Purdy. Always but I like Chris Mc- Christian McCaffrey. I like some of their skill guys. Like, you know, their defense is all right. So it's like, you know, I'd be happy. You know, it'd be cool to see. Love the uniforms. So it's like, I have no beef with San Fran. So it's like, I'd, I'd be cool to see them win one, especially Shanahan. He's such a good coach and have a father-son Super Bowl. Like, that's always cool. He ain't no Andy and, Reid. Uh, he ain't no Andy Reid. And, and I'm happy for Andy Reid. Genuinely happy for him. He's, he's like the one Kansas City Chief that it's like, you know what? Get that man his in and out. Yeah, get him as in and out, uh, especially after he was assaulted by his freaking tight end. I mean, geez. Yeah, what was, the hell happened? I mean, like, we can we can touch on that a little later. But my, basically, what I'm saying is, I just didn't care who won this game, and yeah. I don't, you know, I, my, the Houston Texans never make the Super Bowl, so I don't ever have a real betting interest. And Lamar didn't didn't want to participate this year, so I never <laughs> really do. But this year, I really just didn't care. Normally, I feel one way strongly. Uh, I gambled enough to where I didn't really have a ton of stake in the winner either way. Wise man. Yeah, and so it's like <laughs> I, I really just. Didn't didn't care about the result of this game, so it was nice to enjoy it through that lens, especially because it was chaotic, back and forth, and weird. And so it's, it's nice to enjoy those when you don't have stake in it. Which, yeah, for a hot minute, I didn't think anybody was going to score, and then all of a sudden, yeah. you've got you know three long ass kicks uh, that were made in this game. What would they have? 53, 55, and fifty seven. Yeah, in this broke game. the record. Okay, when they, when he hit the fifty five, and it was the Super Bowl record. I thought that was crazy. Yeah, I was like there really hadn't been a kick longer than that. And then yeah, it's I mean it's a long it. kick, but you know must suck to break a record, a Super Bowl record, like something so you know awesome, and then have someone one up it immediately. Yeah, he had it it's for just two hilarious. quarters. So yeah, congrats. The, you always have that in the record book. That's sort crazy. Of. Yeah, that was that I'd was kind of nuts. But I mean. A wise man named Scotty Bordelon, who just happens to be sitting to my right, once told mm-hmm. us never bet against Patrick Mahomes. He's never going to do it again. <laughs> told us twice in a row. And, we did it twice uh, in a row. I mean, listen, or Patty Ice, he he delivered again. Uh, and I didn't even think he was, frankly, very good most of the game. But yeah. look, it, was man, like, it was like a fine performance. Yeah, was a, he was, was just fine. okay. Yeah. yeah. And then when it comes down to, uh, you know, to nut dropping time, as Kanani Johnson would say, he uh, he let him down the field. Well, it's kind of what we go. said about this Chiefs offense. Like, we don't know that we do that much NFL analysis over here, but whether it's on the gambling <laughs> show or here, we always say, like, this Chiefs team is not super explosive. You know, they don't have that Tyreek Hill element. So it's like they really just kind of nickel and dime their way down the field. And so it's kind of funny. It's like two it's game exactly managers. exactly what almost, they did but, there, yeah. And Patrick Mahomes is obviously not a game manager, but he had to be a little bit more in that mode, kind of working the ball down the field eight yards at a time. It was uh, It was cool to see him dice like that. Yeah, we, uh, and I think it also just kind of speaks to his greatness that he's able to just continue to. I mean, what's he now? Fifteen and three in the playoffs. Yeah, uh, dude, I mean, dude deserves some flowers. And like, you can you can talk about the people around him. You can talk about Andy Reid, who we agree is awesome and a Hall of Fame level coach and all that. But none of this was happening until Patty Ice pulled up in Kansas City. And so, uh, yeah, he's him. It, it's turning into. I think does this qualify as a dynasty now? Yeah, I'd say that, that I, third one really solidifies it. Like, yeah. two is a lot. It's really hard to win one, let alone two in sports. So two is like, especially if you get there a couple more times, uh, you know, going to the Super Bowl four times is pretty much a dynasty. But winning a third one, yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's safe to say. And it's it's crazy to me, like 25 to 22. Maybe it's a Super Bowl scoreigami. I don't know, but it's not a scoreigami. That is football. crazy. It's happened 12 times. We were and on it happened strict, in 2022. We were on firm uh, scoreigami watch for like the entire second half. For, yeah, I mean, once they was, once they missed that extra point, which, by the way, I had a bet on there not to be a missed kick, PAT or, extra, or a field goal. Mm. And I didn't lose on the 53, 55, and 57-yard field goal attempts. I think there might have even been like two, like maybe another one. That the I extra missed points in there. will get you, but the extra point <laughs> they'll get you. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, not even the fact that it was a 33-yard extra point, which they made that mm-hmm. stupid rule. Uh, it just got blocked. Just straight up just yeah. got not blocking. I mean, uh, what are we doing? we got to set the edge. It's the Super Bowl, man. What's going on? What are we doing? We can't have those miscues. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, you could argue that kind of cost them. It did. I mean, it changed well, the entire strategy that, uh, of the rest of the game. The like, one point that ended up sending the game to overtime, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that cost them the game. Yeah, it matters. It it's matters. little things, man. That's why Scott Fountain... That's why it's nice to have a guy like... I'm just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. I thought you were dead serious there, man. Listen, <laughs> we t- <laughs> we talk on microphones for so long. I just go in and out of bits. Yeah. You don't even know what bit I'm doing. You know, sometimes I just... The, it all blurs together, especially... We haven't really called attention to the fact that this is a post Super Bowl show, but this is a post Super Bowl show. Yeah, we, we had our Super Bowl party it. and then turned the mics on. Yeah. Um, well, I think people were probably taking you seriously until you mentioned the. Uh, yeah, they were like, "Man, this guy's sharp. He's really got his wits about him. He totally has not been consuming all kinds of crazy stuff that's terrible for his body all day." Yeah, we've done we've done well. And listen, hey, it was a great game. Thanks for the carnitas, though, Scotty. Those yeah, those sick. were really so, shout out to Mal. An awesome, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Scotty probably handled those. Who who made those? He's selling himself short. Any, <laughs> anyway, anyway, the game itself was awesome. Also, the, if you remember the context of which uh, I pulled up at the party tonight, it was. I do remember the context. A, this is a this is this is a historic it was, night. It was nice of you to join us. Um, you did yeah. make it before the halftime show, which is uh, what we want to talk about next. Yeah. Before we get to that, I don't want to bury the lead. Reba, awesome. Just uh, just tremendous as performance. I mean. As first reported by Andrew Ellis here on this program, yeah. Reba's still hot. She uh, killed it. She was better than Post Malone. Better than Post Malone. And look, I like Post Malone. I'm an Austin Post guy. Not his best work. It was an interesting vibe. And, you know, he's not, an, That's he's not, not good in this. I was say, this is not a— That's just a weird decision. Right. Especially um, in Vegas when Post Malone likes to enjoy his time. Uh, you should have known sure. he was going to show yeah. up drunk as a skunk. I mean, come on. <laughs> this guy used to—he, like, yeah. like, fell asleep at one of his concerts because he was so messed up. Like— mm-hmm. And I love Post Malone, but yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one for him. Uh, the halftime show, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. The Black with you. National Anthem was good, by the way. Actually, I thought it was might have been the, I, I the best that. one. Uh, Who they did, did it that? before. I forgot the woman's name. It was like okay. Anya, Andra. Andra. I had never heard of her before. I gotcha. Yeah, we, were, we recorded the uh, we recorded the pot at the palace before yeah. the Super Bowl, and we got we got on just in time. Like Post Malone was walking up, I think, when we mm-hmm. turned it on, so we we missed the rest of that, but. I missed um, the start of Reba by just like walking around, kind of. I just kind of snuck up on. She was me. electric, man. Yeah, Usher was not electric. Usher was not electric. Now I'm not. He still got moves. I wasn't as displeased as you were. I mean, we talked he about didn't it in the sing. moment. That's what I thought was. So he came out the. He he recovered a little bit. He entertained. Um, I'll get into my full thoughts in a little bit, but I thought he struggled at the beginning to maintain the like dancing singing balance, and he was he was grooving. He yeah. also worked, worked up a sweat. Yeah, he was immediately, dripping, man. man. Yeah. Well, and then they, he was singing the song. It's getting hot in here, or not? It wasn't getting it. It wasn't getting hot in here, but it was some song. Let it burn, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, was it? Let it burn. Fire burn. But they had sure. like fire on the stage. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. real fire. But and I was like, dude, it looks like it's 180 degrees up on the stage. Yeah. Well, as much as he was dancing, he was getting a workout in. He couldn't even get a sentence out of his mouth, and that's what right. Irritated and it was like, about I think it. he struggled to get going. But then there was a, he got to rest for 20, 30 seconds while Alicia Keys... Alicia Keys bailed him out. She bailed him out big time. Yeah. Uh, she came off the bench and immediately gave a spark. <laughs> yeah. You know, Got a steal, did the key on Minifield, you know, blocked a shot mm-hmm. when he got the dunk, sparked the offense a little bit. She and, was great. Uh, allowed them to settle in. Yeah. Actually, the, the, the term I used earlier, which I think is a better one, it was third and eight. They hadn't converted a third down yet. <laughs> offense was still stuck in first gear. She caught the pass over the middle. It's like, hey, someone had to come up and get that big play. Now we can get into our rhythm and get up tempo a little bit. She got him going. I really appreciated what she brought, but that also allowed him to kind of reset and catch his breath. Yeah, he needed that. He was, he was better afterwards. I thought he was uh, pretty smooth on the roller blades. So I'll give him credit for that. He, he had to do a co- lot of costume he did. stuff. Yeah. He had to move and you know, they move sets, got on different stages and stuff. So I appreciated how physical the performance was from that. Yeah. Like, he was moving around. It wasn't just, and, and like Rihanna last year, was, I thought was great vocally. Like I, I loved hers way more, but obviously she didn't like she wasn't like jumping around. She's very dancing. pregnant. Yeah, she was very yeah. pregnant, and so like <laughs> they had to kind of tailor it more to her voice. Right. Like I thought it was kind of they they distracted us a little bit from the fact yeah. that he wasn't really singing that much. The unsung hero of the performance, Ludacris, maybe. Ludacris, I mean, uh, all fifty eight years of age, <laughs> look that, good out there. Is that, I mean, is that true? I have no. He's old. He's an older I mean, guy. I, oh, yeah. Oof. 
I almost spilled this beer on my lap. That would have been Is that tough. a flyway? This is a flyway. It's a blue wing, as yeah, we call it. Yeah, you can't them. spill that beer. That's the ultimate party foul if that happens. Dude, that so, was about to, and that was going to be on, rec- I mean, that was going to be a disaster. Yeah, it's not, we were, we're not going to clip that out. So, the, my, the, whatever I would have said the rest of the podcast, I would have been just, it would have ruined, it would have ruined everything. Uh, but I will try on Google <laughs> Ludacris' age, but I also liked what Lil John, Lil John. Yeah, he was good. Do you remember what I said about Lil John, Curtis? Do you want to do my bit for me? The sports term? You don't remember you weren't paying attention to me? Well, I don't know. I you riffing. said a lot tonight. I, don't I did say a lot yeah. tonight, but this was my best one. Lil okay. John was the running back they brought in in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, you did The say defense that. is <laughs> tired, and they brought in that fresh back, that uh, Dominique Johnson, and he just eight yards, six yards, seven yards. They started playing his hits. They played turn down for what, which I don't think Usher's in. Uh, <laughs> you know, he did what's – I mean, the one they did yeah together – but they were even doing the to the window, to the wall, and all that. Like, they had a little bit of that mixed in. They were just playing a little John. And I was like, you know what? That's a good way to end this sucker. Yeah. Well, I, I do remember a lot of the conversation about nobody making more money off of four words. Than, yeah, uh, not a, not an extensive vocabulary, little John, but he's he knows he knows his skill set. Yeah. And he sticks to it. Yeah. He's Dominic Johnson, man. The he Dominic might, he Johnson might be of Dominic music. Johnson. Yeah. yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's um, you ready good. for a ludicrous, ludicrous age update? Younger than we guessed. Okay. 40-something? 40 46. Born in 77. Okay. I just so thought, so, yeah, came out in 2002, three. Sure. I mean, early, it's maybe, been a minute. maybe maybe 2004 yeah. at the latest. So that's 20, 22 years ago. So I guess he was 22 when that happened. He was younger than I thought. I thought he was maybe in his 30s. Okay. Yeah, he's doing well for himself. I want to see a birth certificate, but whatever. Yeah, we'll check. We're still waiting on Obama's. So, yeah. You know. But you, uh, what was your final, what was your rating? Do you want, you can do player grade, you could do zero to 10, whatever. What was your, how would you assess Usher's overall performance? Usher, four. Or just the halftime show with uh, Usher as the headliner? Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use a completely different grading system and I'm okay. going to go B minus. Okay. But the B minus is greatly uplifted by Alicia Keys, Luda, yeah. and Lil John, honestly. Yeah, okay. So I was probably in the C range. B minus. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I'll give you that. And also the nostalgia plays every time. Nostalgia yeah. always works. When I just th- when I'm allowed to think about a time when my life was th- not as bad as it is now. I think that the, the <laughs> That always helps. Like you're, that's you what going, you're going through it. <laughs> 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 nah, dude, I'm cool. It's it's tough in here. Uh, no, I think I think the thing for me is I'm an usher purist, man, and so like I I always really appreciated, I did expect a little more from him. Yeah, from Raymond, you know, Raymond or Raymond, Raymond. Is he usher Raymond? Yeah, and Raymond's his last name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, more importantly, or equally important, we got to talk about the ladies of the night. Yeah. And I think if if there's anyone out there, this is just my opinion. <laughs> if there's anyone out there who is ticked off about the amount of times that they cut the camera to Taylor Swift. Um, I think they're crazy because I didn't really notice that much. Maybe it was because Blake Lively was right beside her the entire time, or maybe they just didn't go over that much. I, I don't know. My opinion on it might be jaded. Um, I think we saw Brittany Mahomes an entirety of once. I can when only I was remember watching, once. I, I can remember, only remember just once. one time seeing her. Um, then, of course, there was Reba, you know, when we only saw her once was at the beginning of the night. Yeah, but it was a great, at least we got an extended look. Do I think I think there's a very clear winner for Lady of the Night, but I, I do want your thoughts on that. Um, I've got a different winner. And okay. It's, well, I want to I give Blake Lively credit, one. Scotty rolled yeah, it's nice it, of you. Is it visible? Yeah, it's up there. It's, can you tell it says Blake there. Lively? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it was in camera or the whatever. people can see, yeah. Okay, just make sure. Scotty brought it in because he was he appreciated what she brought to the table tonight, and I did too. I know what you're going to say. What I appreciate, though, is that she is not doing the, like, trying to get on camera and, like, right. making it obvious. She's been at three or four of these. I've seen her. At, she was at the Jets game for sure. <laughs> she's been at the, She was at the brunch with the girls. You know, she's been there, but you don't, be, you don't have to hear. Yeah. What's understood don't need to be explained. She did get caught saying uh, "shut the f up" in 4K, which but was again, awesome. In the but moment, that was raw just reaction. that was just raw emotion. Yeah. That was not like, oh, I see a camera, which is, you know, we 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 uplifted Brittany Mahomes <laughs> the other day, but that's what she does. You yeah. Know? Oh, she had um, resting weird face the one time we saw her, Brittany Mahomes. By the she way, did. Which oh, is what big, we talked oh, about the other day, big ultimate, time. very um, different vibe so from the swimsuit. We speculated, edition. like, frankly, we speculated that they weren't showing her because she was with Pat Senior, yeah. who you know. Had his ups and downs. May or may not have even been there. We I mean, didn't. We didn't. I see mean, him. I, I didn't expect to see him. Did but, we uh, see Jackson either? 
I don't know. Oh, and did I mean there's a video circulating of Britney seemingly denying him entrance to their like uh pregame party. And it's not like he's really uh Jackson cared Mahomes, about who's fall, denied what an what entrance from in the past, Grace but... from whenever he was all district on his basketball team in high school. <laughs> Had such a promising upside. He's but... probably TikTok and he's fine. I mean, he's probably he, he'll probably book something stupid. Yeah. He'll he'll probably book something with Timu, that company that had thirteen commercials tonight. Might have. I Spice deserves a, a shout. I out Spice to deserves a, yeah. a very, but actually, She's, I, she was very I never there. even got to my point of. Who I, that's I where I thought you were going, so that's why I threw it in there. You're welcome. I was. Yeah. It was gonna take me a minute. <laughs> Kyle Yuschek's wife, who I believe is oh. named Kylie. Kristen, I lied. Her name is Kristen. Okay. You know why? She's the winner of everything. One, because. Kyle Juszczyk played really well tonight. Yeah, okay. a couple of huge plays. Yeah, uh, which ended up being in a losing effort. You know why she's famous is she does the jackets and all the merch and stuff. That's her. Yes, that, that like does. And she, you know, obviously she her her husband didn't get the job done tonight. Yeah, but she has been supplying merch for all like the Taylor Swift jacket that yeah, had the yeah. eighty seven. She makes that. That's her. Okay. Yes, and she's made cool. a bunch of them, and she has a deal now, I believe, with the NFL or somebody. She has like a huge apparel deal where she's gonna like make them and make a ton of money. And uh, I believe she supplied him for uh, Christian McCaffrey's uh, wag, Olivia Culpo. I think that's his wag. Wag, wives and girlfriends. You know the, the, oh, the famous okay. wags. That's who. Uh, that's what. That's really what we're discussing is wags. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, sure. wags are going to be a big theme when we talk USC, UFC next week with Ian Gary on the card. <laughs> yeah, but uh, she's true. been crushing it with those. And also, like I noticed them whenever Taylor Swift was wearing. I was like, dude, that's cool. Where did she even get that? How do you get a jacket with a jersey or whatever? But I thought it was cool. She's been killing it. And again, we don't hear from her, which I don't say that negatively. I mean, like, we don't have her posting TikToks and being like, oh, everyone, look at me. And, you know, like trying to get in front of the camera and <laughs> yeah. do stuff, which, like, I don't <laughs> like it when people that are, like, married to famous people, when they do that anyway. So I just, I, I respect the ones that just, we don't, they don't have to tell us how cool they are. We yeah. just know they're cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I think I'm with you. Ice Spice sure. was great tonight, though. I, I love that she every will. time they would flash to her, there was someone trying to explain football to her, seemingly. Yeah. There was one where I could see Taylor Swift was, like, pointing and kind of here, here. and uh, The Jason Kelsey introduction was awesome. Jason Kelsey. You showed me that. By that the way, was Jason Kelsey, what a gentleman and what a stud, <laughs> dude. Like, he's he's really been crushing it just on and off the field. Did you field. see him in the Allen get up, the hangover? I don't know if I'd, oh, I. Oh, I thought I saw that and Wait, thought it was fake. Was that real? I don't know. I don't know if it was real. I saw it. I was like, it has to be fake. But he does. He does kind of look like Alan. From if, the, yeah, you know, looked great. Over. Regardless, uh, hell of a Photoshop. But no, job. it was so funny for anyone that didn't see the video. Uh, apparently, I don't know how I spice. I mean, there was a ton of people in that same box. Yeah. I guess Jason Kelsey. Maybe he wasn't in the box, but he just came to say hi pregame. But on the pregame show, they show him. He goes and he gives Taylor Swift a hug because obviously, you know, whatever. And then looks at I spice. <laughs> Famous female recording artist, uh, Ice Spice, and like just stick, just shakes her hand, yeah. real professional. Like Big he was fan meeting, of your work. like he was meeting the president. Man, it was <laughs> awesome. Uh, the reverence that he showed, I thought was awesome. Yeah, but, yeah. And then also, them they were like hugging after every touchdown, and then when the Chiefs won, and like Ice Spice is just in the middle of it. I thought I thought it was so funny. So uh, yeah, no, I didn't was... expect that. She also had a good commercial with the Starry. Is that the Starry? Yeah, the new Sierra Mist. The new Sierra Mist. Which uh, R.I.P. Sierra Mist. It's just not a thing anymore yeah um it was never really a thing in my life but you know yeah definitely not, not not for me and my family not yeah. not for me and not for this house yeah i don't i don't frequent places with uh pepsi product fountains so right. you know when well, i don't drink sprite either like I, I know i mean i drink sprite more than sierra Mist. i used to drink sprite because when i was big in the nba i was like oh, I only whenever sprite, you're, you're mixing that that dirty cup yeah when you got that styrofoam like for that the, LSU game the other day, when you're on that we, Nick Saban shit, you know, yeah. whenever he had the styrofoam, yeah, <laughs> Nick, Saban, Nick Saban was leaned up in that car whenever he was showing it off to the SEC Network crew. <laughs> but not, I, I, I mean, honestly, I would say half the times I've consumed Sprite in the last decade have been alcohol. Yeah, anybody who just apple drinks a Sprite. Crown, I used to apple Crown and Sprite. You know who drinks Sprite or varieties of Sprite? John Neighbors. Yeah, John Neighbors does a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, but he has he has the uh, or he had the holiday variety. It's ah, pretty good. But the Drake As Sprite commercial back in the day, which I mean, we can talk commercials if we need to. But uh, the Drake one back in the day, I don't think that was a Super Bowl commercial. But y'all remember the one where he's drinking the Sprite and then his face comes apart? Yeah, classic. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very very good. Uh, it's interesting to me that the Super Bowl. Sorry, is not... Starry, for just completely ruining y'all's yeah. ad. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, They're not going to be Sprite. Sprite. Sierra Sprite. Miss was never Sprite. Starry will never be Sprite. It no. is what it is. And Sprite's mid. Unless so, Ice you know. Spice ends up winning this award that we've uh, put up for the people, Lady of the Night. 
Yeah, I don't think she is. Starry, I don't, yeah. yeah. I th- you don't I think, think, uh, you don't think our audience likes I- Ice Spice? I don't know if they do or not, but I bet they like Blake Lively more. I bet they do. Yeah, I would. I, I, would, I would. Yeah. I shouldn't assume for anyone. But I know I think our, it's our live man. audience here in studio definitely likes Blake Lively more. <laughs> yeah, but I think exactly. he also enjoys Ice Spice. Yeah. Ice Spice's work. Did you know that the Super Bowl is not the biggest party in America this weekend? I don't know if I knew that. What do you know about the greatest show on grass? The greatest show on grass. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You need to. You need to tell me, brother. Things get weird in golf nowadays. <laughs> oh, the waste it's, management. I listen, <laughs> it's it's the waste management open. Uh, well run event. The from Phoenix what I've heard. Open, whatever the hell they want to call it. Uh, dude, listen. Golf is like a gentleman's game, supposedly. This thing is a mess. It was like Woodstock on a golf course. Absolutely freaking nuts. Like people were going crazy on benders. I saw so many videos on social media of like dudes just hammered and just pissing themselves, just sitting around. Uh, girls going nuts, like double shotgun and beers. People sliding through the mud. Just people acting a fool. Where man. is it? Is it in Phoenix? You said. Yeah, Phoenix, Scottsdale, out that way somewhere. Are there mob ties to uh, Dude, the waste management open? I don't know. There might be. When I was talking with someone very close to me earlier today, they they asked. They said that kind of reminds me of uh, the Sopranos waste management because you know that's what that's they used to always fair. say about Tony yeah. Soprano. He works in waste management. Dude, I wonder if there's some mob ties going on and if. Uh, Deal went south. Maybe. It got so crazy that, and you know how golfers are, like, do not talk during my backswing. Oh, yeah. You know, like, do not speak during my backswing. Oh, people were speaking. Like, people were going nuts, and golfers were getting pissed. They were, like, getting back and forth into it with fans. It got to a point where they shut down alcohol sales (laughs) in in the place because people were getting too rowdy at, again, it's a gentleman's game, golf. Yeah. Uh, But it was absolute madness, and I got to be honest with you, I love it. It's kind of crazy, actually, how closely golf is related to getting belligerently belligerently drunk and being yes. like a gentleman, being kind of like dolled up and like proper a little bit. Right. Yeah. Tuck your shirt in, but drink all you want. Yeah. yeah like, like the like, rules. And look, I understand like cart path and all that. I mm-hmm. just I respect grass around here. We respect you know the greenery, uh, but I just mean like with like the whole like, don't talk in the backswing and don't uh, whatever and. You know, you can't. You're apparently you're not allowed to just throw your ball where like a hit from wherever you want. Like if you just hit a shot poorly, you're not allowed to move your ball. That's what I never really understood about golf, and like also it just counts everything. It's just tough. yeah, just absolute madness. Like I would, I would just say get on. You can't stop alcohol sales at golf, dude. That's people. If there's they not alcohol at the golf course, <laughs> then it's gonna get worse. And I'd, I'd imagine it had a negative effect, huh? Yeah, uh, fights among spectators. They called it an alcohol fueled incident. There's like this whole list. I'm just I'm looking. I'm scrolling through a story of it right now, and like you know, Jordan. So like, is there just like no security? Like, how did they lose control? Like, well, there's just so understand. many people. I think that maybe they. I don't they, know. They didn't, maybe they, they just they got had out too of many hand. people show up. But like uh, like Zach Johnson, they got him on social media. He was like screaming at a heckler after they you know he was on a tee shot and somebody was going nuts and uh, Billy Horschel, Nick Nick, uh, what's his name? Galetti, I think is his last name. Yeah. He was freaking out on somebody. Yeah, Jordan. I'm Spieth telling you, I really think there's somebody. some mob shit like, going on because they do shit. You know, they'll like intentionally go and mess up events and stuff like that. I really, there might be some some foul play involved here. There may be. There's someone that's at the root of it. One chick had to go to the hospital. That's she didn't chaos, die, but dude. it was like she just. I don't know. If she got like trampled, or it was on the 16th that hole. That's all I know. She the, took uh, a fall. Like it was nuts, man. That wouldn't happen here at the course in uh, in Rogers. I forgot the name of it, but uh, the blessings. So. Shadow, Shadow Valley. Valley, yeah. That wouldn't happen at Shadow Valley. Those events, smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would have been real smooth. Not with us on all. This the, might be the type of thing we need to go shout to. Shout out to Mark Wahlberg. That wouldn't happen on my watch. <laughs> you know, he said that about yeah, 9-11. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That wouldn't happen if I were on that plane. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just, we were kind of rambling with each other about what we were going to talk about. And uh, right before we got started here, President Biden just fired off this. Just a just a heat check what? on Twitter from Joe Biden, man. What All the, time. <laughs> and what he, the hell was that? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> especially in a time where Joe Biden's like mental sanity is always in question. And look, guys, right if you, now, if you think we're about so. to get political, we're not. I promise you. I can assure you. No, just, yeah, go look at Twitter. We're like we're <laughs> But it's just, yeah, go look at Joe Biden's latest tweet or at least just maybe just google joe biden tweet because i'm sure it's, it might be deleted by now probably but it, ha- it happened move. like 20 minutes before we started here but yes. right after the chief's win he tweets out a picture and says 
just like we drew it up with a picture of himself with like red eyes. It's like edited, like <laughs> it looked like a fan edit, like one of those that I mean, people make these with like Eric Musselman and Sam Pittman and whatever. It, it's the most bizarre thing. It looks like a like one of us made this. It's pretty crazy. That was wild, wild behavior. Kind of like playing into the jokes that everything's scripted and you know all that. I'll be honest with you, it's pretty funny. You know, kind of I mean, leaning into it and being like, "Oh yeah, everything's rigged." That's funny. It's just a it's just a bold move for someone who really doesn't tweet. Like Trump tweets so much. Yeah, you know, uh, he it would have been off, expected. He from gets him. off plenty of shots, so it's like when he yeah. tweets something unique, it's not like what you're not like baffled by. It. You're kind of just like, oh. you know, like if he tweeted that, we'd kind of be like, oh, it is what it is. It's fascinating for Joe Biden this to tweet weird. that. And uh, the most interesting thing about it is like it wasn't him. I would imagine you know, like it, was, not. it was somebody in that office who's, who's running his who account. Got the, who's getting fired because of it? Or yes. who like who, who got the green light to yeah, send Yeah, who got that? the authority there? I don't know, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Funny. I, 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 bet, it's, it. I bet it was like someone on staff who was just like, I can talk him into signing off on this. Probably planted the seed on Thursday. We're like, hey, if the Chiefs win, yeah. let, me, let me fire off this tweet. <laughs> and Joe's <laughs> like, ah, what do you <laughs> think? <laughs> ah, yeah, pretty good. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, go ahead. Super Bowl, cereal bowl. No, oh, by the way, speaking of old people tweeting crazy stuff mm. michael kane scotty retweeted at one of them did you see michael kane no i miss this the actor michael kane alfred no. uh you know yeah. alfred batman the great michael kane i mean he's, he's a lot more than alfred but i mean i just that was the first thing that came to my brain sure he tweeted uh <laughs> let me see if i can put it but he literally just tweeted super bowl in las vegas with no other That's context just <laughs> and then he followed up a few minutes later let me see if i can find here it is Okay, yeah, he said Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Then he said, like, three minutes later, we'll stay up all night to see Super Bowl. All right. And then he, then about 13 minutes later, he said, love Las Vegas. Got married there. And this is Michael Caine <laughs> has 780,000 followers. Tremendous actor. Like, I think he's won awards and stuff. I mean, he's been in a ton of stuff. Y'all would recognize him if you Google him. Like, he had tweeted on January 31st and said, love, health, food, safety, and tweeted out a weird quote two days ago, it says, on the 9th, so maybe three days ago. Just a weird quote, when you walk, let your heart. But he doesn't tweet a ton. But I don't know. He just said Super Bowl in Las Vegas. I don't know if he, he thought that people didn't know that that was happening. He wanted to let, hey, guys, He broke Super the Bowl. news. And this was, this was at <laughs> 5.04 p.m. Central Time, so 26 minutes before kickoff. <laughs> maybe, Good for him, man. Maybe he just caught wind of it. He's like, yo, <laughs> A lot of people in Vegas, man. This is yeah. crazy. Yo. And he's like, hey, love Las Vegas. Got married there. Yeah, it's, it's great here. <laughs> we'll stay up all night to see Super Bowl. I don't know where he's at where you got to stay up all night. But, man. Was he in one of the Super Bowl commercials? I don't think he there was. There were a lot of people in the Super Bowl commercials. So I saw Danny DeVito, who was in a few Super Bowl commercials, tweet something like, I'm just sitting down with my Jimmy John's number 12, about to watch the Super Bowl. Of course Usher, he is. Or something like that. <laughs> and like he was at least doing a promo. He probably got paid for it. I don't think Michael Caine got paid for those tweets. I think he's just shooting from the hip. He's just, yeah, he's just Super Bowl, doing Las Vegas. Great. Chael Sonnen, our boy Chael Sonnen used to do stuff like that. Yeah. Where like if he thought that people weren't talking about something that happened in the UFC enough, like two days later, he'll be like, hey, Leon defended the belt against Colby. <laughs> Unanimous <laughs> yeah. decision. Outclassed him. <laughs> there like, you go. It was like, all right. And then people kind of, it's, it's so funny. To There's just watch something people. about the matter of factness with some of those things. It's like. I love people that tweet stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, a great man, a, a top two overall pick in the NFL once tweeted, I love to kiss titties. Yeah. I mean, and shout who out doesn't? To, so. Shout out to Mitch Trubisky, former pro bowler. <laughs> Chicago yeah, Bears. Man. When he was like, he was like seventeen too. It's like I get it if you're like twelve and you're like firing off a. But it seems like he was like in high school. Yeah, but that's like, when you're really feeling it. At seventeen, yeah. I don't know, like maybe a, a year or two earlier. But yeah. you know, it's still. He's he's. I think Mitch peaking. Trubisky is Alex Moran from uh, Blue Mountain State. Yeah. yeah, like he he just and he was the backup for four years before he started. I think he kind of just got randomly was like, oh wait, I'm the starter. Oh, I'm the number two pick. Well, oh okay, you know, it's kind of. Mm -hmm. I but bet I like that's how Brock Moran. Purdy probably feels that now. I mean, Brock Purdy, like Mr. He's just Irrelevant. becoming someone, yeah. Yeah, well, is he? Well, well I think this was his chance. Know. Yeah. I think in two years, the 49ers are going to trade for, like, Trevor Lawrence. And someone good. People are going to be like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Now they got a real one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's probably probably accurate. I am glad that Brock Purdy didn't win just because, you know, there needs to be some, there needs to be something. Yeah. A loud sneeze. What just John happened Abers. back there? I hope the mic. Who, by that the way, up. just like pulled up while we were recording. <laughs> like, I, I, I did not expect to see him. 
Weird things happen. You know, Patrick Mahomes led the Chiefs in rushing tonight, 66 yards. Did he really? He had that long run at the end, I guess, but he had nine for 66. Oh, good for him. There's nothing better than betting the QB over for rushing, no matter the no matter the game. Nothing better than nothing better. The QB for over for rushing nowadays, everyone's quarterback. Especially like I bet on Tua's and it was like three and a half. Quarterbacks always get the rushing yards. Okay. That's the only time I win bets is the QB (laughs) rushing. All right. I'm so glad to hear it. I was just looking at the box you. score, and I just, you know. <laughs> I was like, let's see if he's firing off stats. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I just happened I to have the box score photo. I was like, <laughs> led the Chiefs in rushing. No, Isaiah Pacheco. Actually, yeah, Pacheco uh, wasn't rough, his, rough best, day for wasn't the his best work. No. Um, but, you know. What topic group. are we on, Curtis? Uh, dude, we're all over the place. We, we've been on the we've been on the medley for like 10 minutes. Oh, we're on minutes. the Joe Biden we're, one, aren't we? We're past Joe Biden. We're now. past Joe Biden. Yeah. We're, we're talking commercials now. Yeah, the commercials. What the was commercials your favorite were one? Good. My favorite one was probably the Paramount Plus one. The uh, I, I didn't can't remember get the it. name of. I mean, I didn't really get it either. There's a lot going on though. Well, I think that was kind of the point. Yeah, <laughs> Paramount. I think that was just, just kind of like, hey, I'm a big Hey Arnold guy. Well, so. and they had all the actors. They had the Star Trek guy. I forget mm-hmm. his name. It's like Patrick something. Patrick, the old guy. The Reno 911 guy. That, yeah, yeah, and they, yeah, they had all their. They had the animated character. Uh, had two, I guess. Uh, they, I mean, they had all yeah. kinds of characters. That you can see on Paramount Plus slash CBS. So that was a was a good little ad just to get all your your uh, intelligent. Yeah, that's a good way properties. to get people to subscribe. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, here's everything that we have. Lionel Messi, Michelob Ultra. That was a good one. Um, one love <laughs> yeah. Michelob Ultra, but him ordering it and playing soccer on the beach and well schooling done. everyone. It's well done. And Messi's cool, man. Messi, how about him just being in uh being in America in Miami and he now he's. Now people are like, hey, we know who this guy is now that he's the best soccer player in the Living world. Living the life, Living as the one life, Anthony man. Ruta would say. So, Love it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Chris Pratt as the Pringles guy was pretty good. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Good that stash. Was Chris Pratt, the, uh, I don't know if he said a word in that promo or like did anything. I think he just kind of just was there. Just hanging out. Pro- I, want, yeah. I would love, I bet that was like the easiest paycheck anyone's ever received. Yeah. I was a big I was a big fan of the Kawasaki four wheeler one, the mullet, the Stone Cold Steve the Austin. Stone Cold, mullet. yeah, that was a good one. There's uh, a lot of them that like happened that I just don't even really remember. Yeah. Uh, State Farm had a commercial with the former governor of California, whose name I just don't try to say. These Arnold days. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. 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 He he had a good commercial. He not got a yeah. nice little. Not good to see him booking an action gig. He's still in great shape. The budget Super. for that State Farm commercial was crazy, dude. There was like an explosion and everything. <laughs> yeah. I was like, geez, like, man. Uh, <laughs> Tina Fey had a good commercial with Booking.com. Yeah. The uh, the Baja Blast one was a good Baja one. Baja Blast. Aubrey Plaza. And, Always uh, good. Ron Swanson made an appearance in that one. That was a good one. Uh, so. You know that meme that went viral a couple years ago of the old man who ate a bucket of paint? Yeah. He had like the light blue <laughs> lips. People were like comparing. The, <laughs> they were like, hey, it's going to be us. Uh, hey, the one commercial we were, by the way, commercials weren't like a big hit this year, I wouldn't say. Like I don't they think, started I mean, strong. There's always like, like a couple just because there's, I mean, you know, yeah. celebrities. You kind of remember a few of them. But it wasn't a year where I'm like, dude, the commercials were banging. They started yeah. strong, though. Uh, I liked the Addison Ray Nerds gummies because I love I completely the nerd missed gummies. that one, and it ticks me Addison off. Addison Ray, Boot Girl. We support We support the Boot yeah. Girls. Or nerds the, gummies, I support the those because they're awesome. around here. But the one I was disappointed in really was the Budweiser, the Clydesdales. Well, I don't get it. They shortened it. They, I don't it know just if, ended. The last time it was literally like a, a feature film. It was four yeah. and a half minutes, and it was it made you cry. It was like a whole yeah. emotional climax. This one, you just get to the point where the where the dog is. You licking just the have the dog nose licking and the over. horse, and you, and I remember you said you were like, oh, he's licking, and then it just stopped, and you're yeah. like, oh. but it was yeah. You think that happened? Like, I wonder if it was a glitch. Well, you know how sometimes or, they'll do this, especially with like movie trailers, where they'll have the full commercial, full trailer, but then sometimes they'll have just the quick ten second. Hey, don't forget, blah 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 blah. It felt like one of those where it was like yeah. not the full trailer, just a little tease of the Budweiser, you know? Yeah, it was really weird. I don't get it. Um, what I was upset about, and maybe I've missed it by this point. I don't know. You probably know better than me. We didn't get a we didn't get a UFC three hundred <laughs> main event announcement. Like what? I mean, we, so this these were these were hard teases leading up to this. Hard teases, and also, I mean, the event is April thirteenth. Yeah, like it's there's right, been a lot of silence. There's been a lot of silence from a lot of people, including Conor McGregor, who's not usually silent. Mm-hmm. That I was all in on that, where I was like, I think he's just gonna pull this rabbit out of the hat and announce it. But I don't know. Dana White was doing press the other day and was like, still talking about how they were trying to offer people. John Jones said he got offered the fight last week, and I'm like, yeah. If John Jones got offered the fight, 
that means they don't have a main event. I'm like, that's tough. So it's like, eh, that were, yeah, exactly. If they don't have a main event for their biggest event, if, if they were waiting to announce it, which if they were doing that, I'm cool with that. And if the Super Bowl, if you are that, the Super Bowl would be the time to do it. I would argue. Yeah. Uh, so I was all in on that theory. So I was very disappointed that it was. And then the way he was talking thing. with Con the way he was talking about Connor the other day, he kept saying summer, summer, summer. Maybe that's a smokescreen. I don't know. Well, oh, and then he said uh, he said he was going to try to do the Michael Chandler fight with Connor in the fall. Which got me thinking maybe Connor was gonna fight someone else at yeah. UFC three, which would have been be so awesome. funny. And if you're Michael Chandler, <laughs> Michael Chandler man. you just and also what do you do? What do you you say? No, I don't want to fight Connor McGregor, even though nobody <laughs> nobody listening to this knows who Michael Chandler is except for the real ones. Well, he's a he uh, might be the, a bigger cuck than Ian Gary, honestly. So <laughs> I mean, at this point, he's been he's in a, he fought like, in November of 2022. Say he and Connor fight in September of this year, it would yeah. be almost two years of inactivity waiting on waiting on one thing. Yeah. yeah. A guy who's doing coke on a yacht to come fight you. And still going to knock him out. Yeah, that, that's what's going to make it funny. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Uh, but no, yeah, no UFC. I mean, tough. There was, you know, there was a reveal, Deadpool 3. Mm. And I, I like the Marvel. I, I'm a fan of the MCU and I, Deadpool. Those movies, the first two were really good. So I'm excited for this third one, Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine. I would have loved to see the full trailer. I still haven't watched the full trailer. I haven't either. Yeah, despite being a fan of these movies, because they 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 started it and it was cool and you had me kind of hooked, and then they were like full trailer online. Is it weird that that was one of, that might have been the first? It was very early, yeah. Commercial, and it's like if you're trying to tease Maximize, people to go yeah. watch your full trailer, like why would you do it right as the damn Super Bowl starts? Yeah, why didn't you like, tease uh, early in the week? Yeah. And then be like, hey, full trailer on Super Bowl Sunday. Right. Or be the last commercial. I, I don't know. That was just, that was weird to me. So I wasn't compelled to be like, oh, I'm going to not watch the Super Bowl for 10 minutes and watch this trailer. I, I don't know. Right. So that was kind of weird. I remember one year they uh, they released a trailer for Star Wars on a Monday Night Football game. And so there were like all these nerds that turned to <laughs> They were watching like Jets, Dolphins on a Monday. It was like Sam Darnold versus somebody. And it was like yeah. having to wait. And they didn't know. It, was, it ended up being like the third quarter. It was so funny. But. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought you know, if you're the Super Bowl, you're never gonna have a bigger platform than that. Right. You gotta just show us show us what you got, buddy. Yeah, maximize Whip them out. It. Come Let's on. see what we got. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. And the, and the trailer looked cool. Swords so I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure it'll be great too. Um, but yeah, just it wasn't like a super satisfying night. But they did start strong. Mm -hmm. And one that the M and M's commercial was pretty good. What was the M and M's one? It was like. Um, it was it was like a Super Bowl ring design, right? And it was like the different types of M and M's, and then they were playing it out to be designing a Super Bowl ring. It, it was hmm. it was pretty good. It was. Clever. I'll tell you what they did do. They brought back the E Trade babies. Oh yeah, the babies. They yeah. were playing pickleball. Yeah, which is like great. that was a good way to be like, hey, we're taking this old bit, but it's modern. They're playing pickleball. That's yeah. what people do now. <laughs> but I love the E Trade babies. Those, are, those commercials are classics, man. Yeah. And I love that the, the CGI still looks horrible when the babies are talking, which, like, yes. Of course it does, but that's, like, you know, part of the bit. That was funny. I, I loved all that. It's just good stuff. Some of the classics, I don't like, I don't know if I was paying attention the whole time, but, like, did we have a Doritos commercial? There did, okay. I was, I was, I'm going through this New York Times article. So those are usually good. Uh, there was a Doritos co commercial. And I, I just read about it, so I should remember. But uh, but while I stall here, I did like the Christopher Walken BMW commercial, which apparently you missed. But yeah, it had Usher, and it was promoting and like Christopher Walken. I don't even know what movie they were referencing. Someone's someone old is going to comment and yell at me about it. Good, but everyone was coming up to him and doing his impression of like, "Oh, hey, Mr. Walken," blah, and talking like whatever character it was. I really don't know. I did recognize Christopher Walken though, so I'm not that young. Okay. <laughs> but he's like doing it, and then he finally gets to this restaurant where he's getting his food, and then someone asks him a question, and he says yeah, and then ushers across the room, and he's like, "Did you say yeah?" Uh, and kind of promotes the halftime show and BMW. It was just it was well done. Well it's done. good stuff. Yeah. Well um. Done. But yeah, the the Lindor chocolate. You weren't into that. Um. I wasn't not into it. I just thought it was weird. It wasn't as good as the Dove commercial back in the day when they were yeah, like, I know the, I'll about. stop the world. And yeah. That one was good. But they did have a good song. I don't remember what it was. It was something about being round because mm -hmm. Lindor's are the little round candies. Yeah. Uh, one right. I wanted to shout out uh, Vince Vaughn, Tom Brady, the Bet MGM commercial. Yes, that was a good one. I still, like, I was explaining it to y'all earlier. I still don't even really get the premise where Tom Brady was like, can I bet? And he's like, no, everyone except Tom Brady can bet. But that was the bit. And then they had a bunch of people, and then you had Tom Brady trying to dress up and pretend to be other people, you know. 
Very Anything good. with Vince Vaughn in it is, uh, Vince is Vaughn, usually a hit for me. Vince Vaughn also looks exactly like he did in every movie. Like he he just yeah. looks the exact. He's like Coach K and Nick Saban and all Wonder. the legends, you know. And <laughs> yeah. Vince Vaughn, yeah, I mean, he just looks the exact same. Larry David, all which by the way, I think there's a new episode of Curb that I have not watched yet because mm. I was uh, watching the Super Bowl. I guess. Yeah, well, I'm, I might be protesting after what he did to Elmo, but it's fine. Oh no, so yeah, that was, that was great. It, so. <laughs> Oh man, Curb, by the way, episode of one of Curb. I meant to mention that like every show we did last week. Episode one of Curb was really strong. Mm-hmm. It's a really solid episode. I'm in the wrong state of mind. I can't recall any of it, but I remember really liking. But you know it, it was good. <laughs> I know yeah, it was good. Uh, I know that he couldn't break <laughs> up with his girlfriend. I mean, the, the first scene cracked me up. He couldn't break up with this woman that he had started dating. For, this politician that he had started dating last season for some reason because he was trying to remember her AA sponsor was like, "Hey man, mm. she's going through a lot, man. You really." I mean, six months at least, and so he's like stuck in this relationship with this old woman he hates. But Larry David, yeah, I'm sorry I keep just ripping and just letting my brain wander today. That's okay. We had, we got a lot of commercials to talk about. We made it through them, you know. Yeah, my, it's, it's all my brain is just so jumbled right now. Oh, it's been an eventful weekend. It's it's been a, it's lot, been a yeah. hell of a weekend in this office, honestly. It has been. I mean, we had a good time tonight, just hanging out, watching the Super Bowl, and. Uh, listen, it's been a great hey, time. and we weren't just in here good. Like we were working, we were grinding. Okay, this this we is the second. Grinding. I mean, the second show that we've produced on Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know how many people are working on this day, but we are. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, it was a blast. And then you know, Friday we had the uh, the launch party in here. We had the launch party. That was fun. Big turnout. Uh, it was a lot of fun, man. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. It was fun. We don't, have to, we don't have to actually talk about the launch party. Balloons was, everywhere. Balloons were everywhere. But if anyone didn't see, <laughs> go look on social media. We had a good time. I know. It was uh, cool, man. It's John accidentally tweeted out a picture that had me flipping off the camera. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. By the way. Now, I, why'd you do that? I wonder. Because I, I hate yeah. whenever I'm standing in front, I'm with a group and we're taking photos and they say, do a silly one. I'm not, I I'm not silly too. on yeah. command. I'm not a freaking clown. Yeah, it's got to be organic. Otherwise, it's just Even though I get on a camera and have to perform like a clown every day mm. i'm not a clown it's like when don't I don't tell the, me uh, in the moment when you tell me to do it then i'm like all right yeah and so i just mm. i just we were standing right there i just kind of flipped the bird a little I bit i also don't like people telling me what to do it's like oh say cheese i'm not saying yeah. cheese i'll say something else you know? oh i know the worst is but the worst is uh so you were that kid that would always be like say blah 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 you know cheeseburger or something like that oh, you would always yeah. say something else oh yeah or if i take someone else's picture i never tell them to say cheese you know did you say what did we, when bob the builder say testes, went, when the you know, bob when the bob the builder builder would ask can we fix it what'd you say hell no we can't ah that's where the darkness began <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, you were a Bob hater the from the jump, man. I was more of a little Bill fan than Bob the Builder. So. Did you? Were you the kid that would sing Happy Birthday? It wasn't like a turtle's name. The turtle. Yeah. In what? It's like the same vein of cartoons. Franklin, Franklin the turtle. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Scotty. I love Franklin the turtle. Yeah. Franklin the I'm turtle. Sorry, That's I'm sorry, I couldn't pull that one. Yeah. I should have. Uh, yeah, Franklin. Big Franklin Rock the turtle them. fan, and and love the Winnie the Pooh outfit. Do you like the that. Charmin Bears? Um. <laughs> I like the Charmin bears better the Charmin than I like the Goodyear. Have had a wild ride over the years. Yeah. I remember there was the one bear that would like wipe his ass, and there'd be like marks left, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, no, yeah. it was like that's crazy." I man. like the Charmin bears. Wasn't a big fan of the uh, the Pillsbury Doughboy freaked me out, and the Michelin yeah, man. The Michelin man, out. no, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with the Michelin man. But I still man have nightmares to this day about the Burger King. The the big head like the yeah, king the like actual the, the yeah. actual guy you know he would just uh, like, dude I'll be honest he'd with show you. up in somebody's bedroom with like a chicken sandwich I was it's never really weird. scared of clowns as a kid but Ronald yeah. McDonald it's kind of a creep dude he he would psych me out a little bit yeah and there was when I was a kid in uh, in Pineville we had a at the local McDonald's we had a Ronald McDonald that would sit like it was a big old thing that was like <laughs> sitting and you could sit next to him and my yeah, mom would be like don't... don't take a picture and I was like. <clears throat> I, I I didn't like it. Well, at all. most everybody in the McPlay Place gang was weird. Like, what is Grimace? What is Grimace? Grimace. I always thought he was just a big purple chicken nugget. But yeah, I don't. Grimace is tough. It's just uh, I don't know, man. They all freak <laughs> me out a little bit. So, dude, the, the Chuck E. Cheese band freaks me out, man. Oh. We were talking about the Chuck E. Cheese band because we were at JJ's yeah. the other night. And uh, shout out to Abby Pierce and the Sinners. Uh, we were big fans of Abby Pierce because former softball teammate of mine, close friend of Hillary's. Uh, I, I rock with Abby Pierce, but her band. Uh, Wait, that wasn't Hinder. Was not Hinder. Somebody said it was. Scotty, Scotty was. <laughs> <laughs> when John was telling me, he's like, "Yeah, Scotty said y'all were going to see uh see Hinder at JJ's." I was like, "No, nah. maybe he misheard. I don't Scotty, know." Scotty, <laughs> is it just because we listened to Lips of an Angel the other day? 
<laughs> he's like, you ever want to see Hinder? Hinder's dead, bro. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I completely missed it in the moment, but Coming it makes me really happy. Coming from the lips of an angel, dude. <laughs> But that would have been sick. But no, Abby Pierce was very good. But yeah, her band, fun. that one of the guys really <clears throat> looked like the Chuck E. Cheese band. Yeah. The guy on the keys, he was like, he looked very Chuck E. Cheese like. Yeah. But they scared that me. That's creepy. For sure. You remember the, uh, well, since we were talking about commercials, we got, we got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, do we do? Since we were talking about commercials, do you, did you ever see the, uh, the old Quiznos commercials with like the rats? Eat Quiznos Sums. <laughs> I don't know about? I've seen it, dude. I'll show you one. Dude, Dude, I went to a quiz. I remember when I was like eight years old, I went to a Quiznos and then it moved. It shut down. And then I've been yearning for it ever since. I I haven't been to Quiznos since. Yeah. I don't, do they even have one here? I don't know. We got to find that sucker, dude. We got to get out of here. What are we doing? We do have to get we'll out we'll talk here. about this off air. We <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about this off air. Uh, we hope y'all enjoyed this, this edition. We worked really hard on it and, uh, We'll be back with, with more good content. It's crazy how many people, Curtis, we have to just address the elephant in the room here. Yeah. It's crazy how many people come up to us and tell us that they love the Natty State Six Pack. Mm-hmm. And then how few numbers it does worldwide. Yeah, watch. What are we doing? Give it a shot. I think people, I just don't think people understand just yet. Like, yeah, I don't we're, think they get we're it covering either. the Razorbacks. But yeah. if you want to hear about that stuff, like you want to hear about baseball, we got the bombastic pod. We got all of it. We got you the want basketball. To hear about basketball. We got the pod. You want to talk to the freaking O line? We're going to have that too. We got all those things. But sometimes people just want to hear about something a little bit different. Especially when the team sucks. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So y'all should be flocking. This is where you need to come, man. Yeah. If you just you just want a little random entertainment, uh, this is the place to be. For and sure. again, we've been saying it since the jump. Just tell us if there's some like we've had people tell us, like, hey, the, the in state teams are doing well. We shout them out. We talk yeah. about them. We, t- we ask people, hey, why aren't y'all covering women's sports? We talk about women's sports. We give you live yeah. softball gymnastics updates. Gymnastics blew it. This- <laughs> yeah, gym- sorry, gymnastics. <laughs> uh man, they, they softball really softball lost the game to Penn State yesterday. Softball did. They played softball's played twelve <laughs> games in four days. It's unreal, man. I don't know how they do that. They stuff, played at eight a.m. and ten a.m. <laughs> yeah. They had two games before lunch. Probably the same pitcher, both games. <laughs> yeah, like, and I'm just like, I don't how, know how they do it? it? But what are they like? Five and one now? Four and one? Yeah, they're they're real. Yeah, they'll be fine. But yeah, uh, I think it's crazy. They play <laughs> seventeen know. games in the first twelve games of the or days of the season. They just crank them out. Did women's basketball play Tennessee? They they probably did. I don't think it went well. They lost. They shit the bed against Florida. Yeah, it's tough. Whatever. It is tough. Anyway, the point is. The point is, reach out to us and tell us what to what to talk about. Yeah, let us know. We will talk. If your son, open. if your son throws a complete game in his youth baseball, reach out to us. I will give him a shout out on this very program. And reach out to Curtis. Don't text me about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Slide in my DM, so I'll make sure it happens. We'll get it on the script. Don't worry about yeah. it. Actually, sp- speaking of that, I actually do need to. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't be a hypocrite. My sister and my brother-in-law texted me the other day. Carson Ladner, my nephew, scored 20 points in his game the other day. Oh, you told me that yesterday, yeah. And by the way, I told y'all, I was like, I don't know how many they scored. His team scored 28 points. And he had to sit out for two four-minute periods because they do this stupid everyone has to play and blah, blah, blah. It's a Dalton you Connect-ish know. Yeah, Dalton Connect. Yeah. Lefty. Hmm. He's, uh, I believe he just turned nine. No, he just turned eight the other day. Scored 20 of his team's 28 points. His Young dad Van played Vliet, college basketball. He's going to be saying. a stud. Uh, Eric Musselman. Reach out to Carson Ladner. Hit him up. Yeah. He'd love to come to the West Coast. And shout out to my <laughs> other uh, nephew, Cooper Ladner. He also turned like, I don't know how old these kids are, maybe 11, but uh, he texted me after the Chiefs won. He was like, the Chiefs won. I was like, yeah. Great. That they did. All right. <laughs> we're, we're leaving now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're out of here. We're out of here for real. We're done, it's, I promise. Uh, it's been a fun Super Bowl Sunday uh, edition of the Natty State <laughs> Six Pack. Uh, but in all seriousness, appreciate you guys. Make sure you hop over to the Natty State Sports YouTube mm-hmm. channel and subscribe to that thing, please. And thank you for Andrea Ellis and Curtis Wilkerson. We will talk to you guys Wednesday. Yeah, or Tuesday night at midnight. Exactly. Who, who Whenever it is, we'll see you then. <laughs>